jumping into things, this is my Nano Corner, home to my 8 gallon cobalt tank here and my Fluval Spec 5 here to my left. And I have been talking for quite a while that I have been looking at rescaping them and kind of switching a lot of the plants and fish around in the tanks too, uh, with hopefully some ideas for something new in the future. So I hope you enjoy and let me know down below in the comments if you have any ideas for fish stocking for a 5 gallon spec. I have a couple of ideas in my head, uh, but I'm definitely up to a few more suggestions if anyone has any. So after getting the fish out of this tank, which I will introduce you to later in the video, uh, I went ahead and pulled out the plants. Uh, I ended up throwing out all of my rotala that I had in this tank because it was just overtaken with algae. There was no way to save it, uh, but everything else I managed to save. And once that was done, I got the water out of the tank and went to putting in the uh, new substrate over the existing dirt that was in the tank. And then I moved over to the Fluval spec and started working on that tank. Because these are such small tanks and because I was using wood and plants from uh, each of them, I decided I would just go ahead and scape them both at the same time, which ended up working out well. So in the 8 gallon tank, I ended up using the Malaysian driftwood that was in the Fluval spec originally. And in the Fluval spec, I'm playing with a different type of wood that I ordered in from Tannin Aquatics. It doesn't have a specific name to it, uh, but it's a really attractive wood uh, with a lot of little branches to it, perfect for a nano tank, um, especially for kind of the idea I have with what I want to do in this tank. So I settled on a placement for the larger pieces of wood and then went to kind of supplementing with some smaller pieces as well as with some lava rock for this tank. Uh, the largest piece of lava rock is actually an air stone, but it really works out well for, for this tank and it is pretty much the only filtration other than the plants that uh, is in this tank. So as far as plans for this tank, I decided to keep the crypts in here and I added in the Java Fern Trident that was in my Fluval Spec 5 along with the Anubius that was in the Fluval Spec 5. I also took the Crypt Parva out of the Spec 5 and put it into this tank. And I decided that since I took out the Rotala, I wanted another stem plant in this tank. And I decided to use a lot of the Altalanthra Rhinecchii or uh, Scarlet Temple that I had growing in my Paludarium tank. So now here we see the tank a few days after the rescape. Uh, I, I did decide to move a few things around because the original scape just was not, uh, it, it just wasn't quite doing it for me. Um, so I moved a few things around and I, I kind of like this way, this way it looked a little bit better. And my Royal Blue Tiger Shrimp that were originally in my Fluval Spec are in the 8 gallon tank now, which is part of the reason I went with a white substrate. Uh, so that way I would be able to see them easier on there and they kind of pop out a little bit more against that. And now to introduce you to those new fish that you see swimming around the tank. Uh, these are my new red mosaic guppies that I got locally. If you look back at some of the older videos on this tank, I did used to have a group of neon tetras in here. Uh, they have since been moved to the paludarium tank. 
and I decided to put these guppies into this tank and I am absolutely loving them. It's been a long time since I've had a guppy in any of my tanks and I'm just absolutely enjoying them. Uh, they have already uh, had their first batch of fry actually during the reescape. Uh, so they're in, a, in another tank on their own right now uh, just to give this tank a little bit of time to settle before I stick the fry back in there. And looking over to my Fugal Spec 5, this scape I did not change at all after the initial rescape. Uh, it, um, it's really looking good. I, I'm really liking the way it came out. Uh, you can see the driftwood has a good bit of biofilm growing on it. Um, that'll probably go away in a week or two. Not really too concerned about it. It's kind of just part of the natural process. There are some snails in the tank eating off of it and the rest of it I'm kind of taking it off during water changes. I did also change out the lighting on this tank. Um, I have been running a Lights of America full spectrum desk lamp on this tank for quite a few years and it, it did a good job for all that time. But it was getting time to change the bulbs out and I was wanting to make some more space on the desktop where I have this tank sitting. Uh, so I decided to do a little shopping and I ended up switching it out for the uh, Planted Plus uh, clip light from Phoenix. And uh, so far I'm really happy with it. The light output's really nice and it does also give out a pretty nice color spectrum too. Right now the only inhabitants in this tank are some snails and my swamp darter, uh, which was living in the 8 gallon tank previously. I was originally going to add the cherry shrimp into this tank along with the darter, uh, but the darter has decimated my cherry shrimp population when they were living together in the 8 gallon tank. I managed to pull out about 5 or 6 adult cherry shrimp and no babies out of that tank. Uh, so that, pop, that colony is pretty much wiped out. I've moved, I moved the adults into a a separate tank so that they can hopefully repopulate and rebuild and I do still have some in my paludarium tank so I'm not completely out of cherry shrimp um, but it just astounded me that that's all that I managed to pull out of there so for right now he's in here by himself all right guys so that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed I can't wait to see how these two tanks mature and I'm definitely excited to play a little bit more with the stocking with the Fluval Spec 5. Remember to leave a comment down below if you have any stocking ideas for this tank with the Swamp Darter, uh, or if you just want to uh, guess what species of fish I'm trying to decide between. As always guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.